All right, this is great. It was my beautiful wife who came up with the theme sitcom moment. Donna Allen Figueroa. Yeah. yeah. The credit is due there. Uh, actually, uh, it, sadly, or I should say, um, a few days ago, I was reminded of a sitcom moment uh, when I found out that uh, Lauren Yarnell had passed away. You know, she was the female half of Shields and Yarnell. And, uh, from your reaction, everyone knows who she was, right? And, and she was a Margiel, uh, she was a dancer, he was a mime, they married, they taught each other their individual crafts. They're probably best known for these robotic characters like animatronics called the Clinkers. And, uh, and uh, they were very well known for that, but I do remember Lauren Yarnell once played a villainess in an episode of Wonder Woman with Linda Carter. And she was this Jekyll and Hyde character who when she took this potion, had dominion over ants. <laughs> and she was, a, now, she looked like Lauren Yarnell when she was the Dr. Jekyll. When she was the Hyde character, she had this curly, frizzy hair, and she wore a leotard, and uh, she had this sinister look, the eyes, the, the smile, I mean, it was really evil. And then there'd be stock footage of the ants destroying a building and you watch it in a cloak. And I just remember that because it was all here. It was the eyes, it was the wicked smile. Well, jump ahead almost a decade. I'm a young, aspiring stand-up comic working at Radio Shack. You know, before it was The Shack. But, you know, it was Radio Shack. And this woman in a leotard with curly hair comes in, gorgeous woman, and, and she needs a dozen videotapes real quick. And I get her the dozen videotapes. I take her up to the counter. She hands me a credit card. I don't recognize her, and I read the card. And it said, Lauren Yarnell. And I go, Yarnell. And I'm looking down. Is this the same Yarnell as in Shields and Yarnell? And then as I'm looking up, we're eye to eye, and I see the same look as the Hyde character in that, <laughs> this wicked smile. And before she could say, yes, I am, or before I could say, yes, you are, instead, in almost perfect sitcom timing, both of us, in unison, go, nah! I give her the receipt, she walks out the door. If it was perfect sitcom timing, there'd be a freeze frame. Or the Tony Figueroa freeze frame. And, and, and then, you know, you just have the credits and, you know, the nice closing theme over there. So I, it was just a, she was a wonderful, wonderful artist, somebody that we should all strive to be, and she will be sorely missed.